The crucifix pendants that I sell are each individually printed. Um, they don't come from a mold like you've seen other pieces. This is really because of the design and detail of these pieces. Once we get the wax, we send it to casting. The version that we're showing and featuring in this video is a solid 14 karat yellow gold large size. We get the different pieces back from casting. We got to clean where the sprues were attached. That essentially pours the gold into that wax that you guys saw. And now we have a solid 14 karat yellow gold um, piece to clean. So you got to clean that. And the thing with these designs, you have the wood grain finish. Uh, it's a lot of detail, so you have to be careful and take your time. And this is what um, the next processes show and kind of different than the other pieces we've seen or featured. Again, it's just going over the whole design and cleaning it and making sure that finished product is going to be one of the nicest crucifixes that you can buy or you've seen. So the casting or the cleaning part after casting is very tedious, takes a lot of time. Each one, no matter if it's mini through the large size, it's all the same process, shaping it, making sure the detail stays on there. Uh, and the different part with this is the laser welding that happens. Usually we take a torch and we solder these pieces together, but we got to jump on the welder machine and then take those pieces. And that's why I was really excited to make this video to show this process because it is different. I take the, um, the actual Jesus part and you have to laser it onto the cross. Now the wax, when we print it, had the posts go through it so that way it fits. And the reason why I like doing that, one is durability and security of the piece. It attaches on there very secure and also consistency of it. It's straight, it's the same every single time. Again, no matter if it's a mini size through the largest size, each one is going to be consistent and the same as because of the design that we made, the wax and how it fits together. So you could see one by one, each post we're lasering on there with gold to secure it and just taking our time with it. And I do it this way because if I solder it with a torch, it'll flow into those wood grain designs and make it messy. So the, the, the whole point of it is just to keep that nice detail. After we laser it and it's the, the Christ and the cross is shut and on there securely, we go back through and kind of touch up those little laser areas. Again, it's not as bad as if I um, torched it and soldered it. It's the, the detail is still there, but we got to go back through and you can see that gold flying off there as we're cleaning those lines up and making them right. We did our best to keep the design and those lines, but now after we've lasered and attached, we got to go back through and just kind of correct any little errors that might have happened. Again, this has to be all done by hand. Um, each piece individually is going to go through and I really love this shot right here because you see the dirt, you see the grime and you see the time that takes to make these types of pieces. After we get it shut, we have a nice looking piece, but it's got to get a little bit nicer. We got to do the laser engraving on there. Always one of my favorite shots is when the laser engraving happens and on the back, you got to have the logo. You got to have the purity stamp. I don't think it comes out as clean because of the wood grain design but nonetheless um, you got to have the logo and the parody on the back and now it's time to take our time with the polishing because this is really where the magic happens and we get that nice shiny Jacoji piece again a lot of time with these crucifixes um, when you have a lot of different pieces involved like you guys saw when the bale separate the little placard separate separate the Jesus and the cross is separate that takes time to put it all together make sure the castings right uh, finishing touch with the steam and boom we got ourselves a very shiny high polished piece um, it's pretty cool to see in just such a short time how it came along and where it finished we started with a raw casting it still looks good in my opinion this uh, shot but then we get a nice finished shiny crucifix piece and that is the touch that is what Jacoji offers in my opinion one of the nicest crucifix you'll see shop Jacoji that's it for today's video and we will see you on our next jewelry video